all right so welcome back to the third one now in this tutorial we will be talking about something called as data type right so what happens is that we need to store data right so before storing data we need to create some memory space for doing so the memory space will actually be the location where we will store that data right so everything related to data is taken care of using these data types data types if you go by the theoretical definition are the way to organize and handle data right so there are three types of data types in c one is the basic or primitive data types primitive data types next is the user defined data types and the third category is something called as a derived data type so in this we will be talking about the basic ones and we will deal with the other two in the later tutorials so C actually gives us five basic data types which are int, char, float, double and void right so these are the five basic primitive data types provided by C int stands for integer, char stands for character, float is a floating point or a decimal number double stands for double precision floating which again is a decimal number now there is a slight difference between float and double float is used for all the normal decimal values on the other hand double deals with values like the size of the galaxy or the size of an atom you know the numbers which are very huge or very small those are represented using double and void if you go by the literal meaning stands for nothing so similarly in C you cannot actually declare uh, any variables of type void you can declare variables or constants of all these four types void is used exclusively in case of functions ok so now let me just quickly give you an example of one of the type so let's say we are dealing with int here so int is for integers ok before I do that let me just quickly tell you the different memory sizes which these occupy int takes 2 bytes or 4 bytes of memory depending whether your system is 32 or 64 bit char takes 1 byte of memory float takes 4 bytes double take 8 bytes and we cannot declare anything of type void so it does not occupy any memory right so we are talking about integer so let's say I again say max is the name of my integer type variable so let's quickly assign some value to max so if I say max is equal to 10 this is something called as initialization or assignment statement so this means that there is a memory location somewhere in our RAM with the name max and the value of 10 so that is what this statement basically means and that is how we use data types we use data types to you know make different sorts of variables and handle data appropriately so that is all about data types for now so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one